Have you ever looked for a quick and easy way to create a summer camp logo in Illustrator? If your answer is yes, then you're in the right place. Hi there everyone, my name is Andrei Marius and in this Envato Task Plus tutorial I will show you how to create the summer camp logo using Adobe Illustrator. If you're looking for a much easier way to create your own logo, you can always try a logo maker from Placeit. Select the design that's fit for your project and with just a few clicks you can adjust the design, the text from your logo, the fonts that are used for your text and of course most of the colors. Let's open Illustrator to create our new document. Select pixels from this drop down menu, set both width and height to 850 pixels, make sure that the color mode is set to RGB and the resolution to 72 pixels per inch, and then click this button to create your new document. Press Ctrl and 0 to fit the artboard on your entire screen. And for the beginning, go to View and Show Grid to enable the grid. And again to View and Snap to Grid to enable the Snap to Grid feature. For this tutorial, you will need a grid line every 5 pixels. So let's go to Edit, Preferences, Guides and Grid. Set the grid line every to 5 pixels. Make sure that the subdivisions are set to 1. Click OK and now you will have a grid line every 5 pixels. Before we start the work on the design, let's also open the panels that will be used throughout this tutorial. Just go to Window in the menu bar and open the Color panel, the Info panel, the Layers panel and the Pathfinder panel. Now that you're set, you can select the Rectangle tool from your toolbar. Make sure that you have the stroke selected and just remove the color and then double click the fill color to replace this white with 191, 246 and 255. Now simply click and drag to create a 280 by 200 pixels shape and remember that you can have a look inside the info panel to know the exact size of your shape as you're creating it. Once created, go to the control panel Set the alignment to artboard and then just click these two buttons to easily center your shape. Now press Ctrl and plus to zoom in on your selection and switch to the ellipse tool from your toolbar. Hold down the shift key as you click and drag to easily create a perfect circle. Make it 280 pixels wide. Replace the fill color with 254. 209 and 77 and then use the selection tool to move this shape in this exact location. With this circle selected, let's go to Object, Path and Offset Path. Set the offset to minus 30 pixels. Click OK to create your new shape and replace the fill color that's used for this new shape with 254. 193 and 14. Now select this rectangle, press Ctrl C to copy it and then Ctrl Shift and V to add a copy in the same place on top of the rest of the shapes. Replace the fill color that's used for this new shape with 114, 0 and again 0 and then switch to the direct selection tool from your toolbar. Hold down the shift key to select this point along with this one and then go to Object, Path and Average. Make sure that you have this both box checked and then click OK to easily turn your rectangle into a triangle. Reselect the ellipse tool and this time click on your artboard to create a 280 by 400 pixels shape. Fill this new shape with 206. 55 and 37. Use the selection tool to move this new shape in this exact location. And now select your triangle, press Ctrl C and Ctrl F to add a copy in front. Hold down the shift key to select this copy along with this ellipse and just click this intersect button from the Pathfinder panel. With this red shape selected, press Ctrl C to copy it and then Ctrl F twice to add two copies in front. 
select just the top copy and press the up arrow key twice which will move it 10 pixels up and then the left arrow key once which will move it 5 pixels to the left. Now hold down the shift key to select both copies, press the minus front button from the pathfinder panel and use the eyedropper tool from your toolbar to fill this new shape with this color. Switch back to the selection tool, hold down the shift key to select this yellow shape along with the red one, go to object, transform and reflect, make sure that this vertical box is checked and just click this copy button. Move these copies to the left and place them like this and then reselect the rectangle tool from your toolbar. Again, you can click on your artboard to easily create a 280 by 60 pixels shape. Move it in this exact location. Switch to the direct selection tool so that you can set the corner radius to 10 pixels. And then select the type tool from your toolbar to add some text. Start by selecting the knickknack font which you can download from Envato Elements. Set the size to 40 points and just click on your artboard to type in summer camp. Press the escape key to easily switch to the selection tool. Move your text somewhat like this. Use the eyedropper tool to change the color of your text with this color. And with this final touch, your design is complete. I hope you've enjoyed this short tutorial. Remember to hit that like button as it helps me know that I did a good job. Subscribe if you aren't already and don't forget to click the little bell icon to be notified of any new tutorials. If you are looking to learn even more, you can always check out some of the many tutorials that Envato Task Plus has to offer. I'm Andrei Marius and I'll see you in the next video.